All right, we're at step five now. Uh, step four, we created an inquiry for a customer that we had built. Uh, and that inquiry was the customer coming to us and saying, hey, we want five of the deluxe bikes. We want two of the professional bikes. Uh, what would that cost us? And so we put together a, an inquiry. We sent it back to the customer. Customer looked at it. Now the customer comes back to us and says, okay, that's what I want. Uh, and so we're moving from the point of an inquiry to a quotation. And the difference here is that a quotation is really legally binding. The minute that we give them this quote, uh, we are bound to it if they choose to go with it. So that's uh, the process that we're going through. Very similar to what we did with the uh, inquiry. As a matter of fact, we have all of our information in our inquiry. We just need to take the information from the inquiry and switch it over to a quotation. So we're on page 19 of the PDF. We're going to go into logistics, sales and distribution, sales again, and this time instead of going into inquiry, we're going to go into a quotation. And from that quotation, we're going to go to create. I double left click there. Uh, under quotation type, QT goes in. Um, and then we are going to create with reference. Uh, this reference means we already have an inquiry in there, so let's, let's just go back and bring in what we already have. So from this, you ought to be able to see that you can get to the inquiry tab. Um, and if you click on the inquiry field, So we, once again, once we get to this screen, we are going to make sure that in the uh, sales document, uh, according to a PO number, under the purchase order number, we're going to put our three digits again. And from there, we're going to do a find. This finishes up page 20, brings us to page 21. It tells us to double left click on our inquiry. And so that brings in our inquiry field. And all we have to do now is copy this. So that's taking the inquiry we did before, bringing it in. This should bring up the screen here with uh, $21,400 uh, as the net value for it. So we're in the middle there of page 21. and. Uh, it's showing on the screen just like we have it again. Uh, we're going to enter under the customer reference. We're entering our number, our three digit number again. Under the customer reference date, we're going to enter today's date. We already have a valid from date listed in there. However, we need a valid to date. The valid to date should be one month from today. So we're just going to go ahead and switch it here. We'll click on continue. That finishes up everything on page 21. And now we need to find the required delivery date. Required delivery date uh, was already put in. However, we're being told that we need to put in one month from today is the date that the, the customer really needs it. So we need to switch to required delivery date. Once we've finished all that, uh, if we hit enter, um, we get a warning that says the default date is not copied into the existing schedule lines. Okay, so we can hit enter again. And when we hit it again, it gives us a different uh, invoice, a, a different information thing that says the change in invoice date, the billing date is uh, uh, predetermined. So from here, we can click on continue. So the screen we now have um, shows all of the information about this inquiry again that we're turning into a quote. What we want to do is we want to make sure that this customer comes back to us. So we're going to give them a $50 discount on each one of the deluxe touring bikes. And then we're going to give them a 5% discount on the entire order. 
So to give them a $50 off of each bicycle, we're going to go down here and we're going to click on the uh, deluxe touring bike. Click on the item conditions icon. Bring it up. And then once you get in here, you will see that there are places to where you can take and adjust the price. Um, you can put in your own uh, code. This is where you're going to type in the K004 here. Come over to amount. Type in $50 here. Okay. And then that's what you're doing. You can see that on this inquiry, I have already typed that in. Uh, you won't see this in there yet. However, I had already put it in there uh, just a couple of seconds ago. So once you have that in there, um, the new price is going to show back up. You can come up to the top, click to go back one section. And when you go back one section, you will see that uh, your overall net value has uh, changed. So that, that should take us through that part. Now it's time for us to go ahead and do the 5% discount to the entire order. So for to do that, we're going to go up here to More, go to Header, and then under Header, we're going to go to Conditions. Brings us up to a new screen. So to apply the 5% discount now, we're going to go over here to the section that says uh, condition type, CNTY. I'm scrolling down to get myself to a new line. So the new line here, I'm going to write in RA00. And then once I get an RA00, for the net discount, we're going to put an amount of 5. And we're going to click Enter. So RA00, 5% discount now, pops into our system. Everything is done. We're going to hit activate. After the activate has been done, we should see now that our new price should come up with a total price of $20,000, 90, $20,092.50. Everything's applied, um, and we can go through now and save it. Okay, we've now finished uh, this step, and we're ready to, to move on to step six.